Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick little look at this guy here. This is the Philips 4300 uh, espresso maker, and um, I've had it for a little while now, and thought I would um, give my opinion about it. So um, you can do double shot out of here. This guy is adjustable here. The water goes down in, in here, um, and then it'll tell you when you need to remove that and empty it. Uh, this comes out here, you put water in, there's a filter, um, tells you when you need to fill that. There's different profiles that you can use, just the three. Um, guest and then two people uh, you can do cleaning and then here are the different options espresso coffee americana cappuccino latte and then in more drinks uh, there's a couple others here and then you can also just do water like for tea or something so that's nice um, it will tell you to do like descaling Every once in a while, it tells you like how much is left on your filter before you need to replace this guy um, on off. Boots up really quickly. It's maybe like one minute, uh, maybe a minute and a half before it's ready to go. Um, you can do your own um, beans uh, pass through. I mean, sorry, if you want to do grounds, something different besides what's in the beans up here. You can adjust the grind here, and then um, the beans sit up in this area here. Um, I will say uh, one of my complaints is that the beans, you can see how they kind of sit up here when there's more in here. A lot of times it'll just like sit and won't actually go down here into the grinder. It's pretty annoying. I have to almost every day like move the beans down in there even if it's pretty full I've tried full not full it's just not enough slope on here to pull the beans down into here the other thing that I don't completely like is you can't get quite enough fine um, it re re make it so that it makes as fine a coffee as I would like um, so that's not quite as nice as some of the other ones um, it's quiet-ish when it's grinding. Um, I'd say that's pretty acceptable. Um, one thing is, if you don't have this lid on, it's significantly louder. Um, so this lid cuts a lot of the grinding noise out. Um, and let's see, like, you know, you can put a little shot guy here, down, um, and then this is where the hot water comes out, and then also for the latte, um, you fill this up with milk, Pop that on and it just kind of does everything. You have your cup sitting here, the uh, milk will come out into here. Um, this is probably the main reason I bought this is because of how easy this is to clean. You can take this completely apart um, and clean everything. Put it in the dishwasher, um, clean this whole thing out. So that's a really big advantage, and the primary reason I bought this was how easy it is to clean and maintain. Um, I'll say that it doesn't make quite as good a coffee as, uh, like, I had a Jira um, at a previous place, um, and wanted to try this out because it's a little bit less expensive. Uh, I would say overall the Jira does make better coffee, but this is way easier to clean and maintain, uh, so it kind of just depends. Uh, it makes great coffee, it's just not quite as good as the Jira, and if you're really like into having it nice and tight, the pucks and the ground and that, you won't like this as much because it doesn't do quite as nice a job as like what the Jira system can do. I haven't had other ones, so I don't know. Um, uh, somebody I know does have the, um, uh, one of the ones where it's like all completely manual, uh, and that also will make a better espresso than this. But for me, it's convenient. So the price point and the convenience of this is really great, but the quality of the coffee 
is not necessarily quite as nice. Um, I still would recommend this if it's a nice size, fits nicely here. I like that this is so easy to take in and out. Um, I do wish this was slightly bigger. Uh, it seems like it's constantly out of water, so that's a downside. The beans have to constantly be pulled over, so that's a downside, and the grind can't get quite as fine as what you can get with some of the other ones, so that's a downside. The coffee is pretty good, though. Um, I like the compact size of it, and it's very easy to maintain and clean, like I said with how easy the milk frother is to clean. And you can pop this guy just right in the, in the refrigerator here, um, keep the milk nice and fresh. So that's really, really nice. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if there's questions, put them in the comments.